Welcome to the Windows Channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Tuesday, December the 6th, 2016 and today in our Tech News Update we have Apple Watch sales that are in free fall. It seems that uh, it's not going very well for the Apple Watch. Now it's funny because Tim Cook said that they're having the best sales ever on the Apple Watch but real numbers are seem to point in a direction where the Apple Watch seems to be something that uh, less and less people want to have. You know, one of the things about the Apple Watch is it's extremely expensive for what it is and it doesn't do that much when you think about it for the price. Also, it is noted that a lot of people want to have simpler wearables that are much easier to use and uh, it seems that much less expensive wearables from different other companies are actually more popular than the Apple Watch is itself. In other news we have numbers are in for Android. Well, it doesn't look very good for Nougat, uh, the Android 7 version. Both Android 7 and 7.1 was released are only 0.4 percent. You've heard me, 0.4 percent. After three months of release, that's only up 0.1 percent. So it gives you an idea of how really the adoption rate is not very good. Android 6, which was Marshmallow, is at 23.6%. All versions of Android 5, 5.1, Lollipop are 34%. And finally KitKat 4.4, quite old now, is at 24%. So uh, I don't know, but I think Android 7 will need a really big push to uh, make it uh, also, it is interesting to note that Android 7 adoption rate is slower than Android 6, which after three months was at 0.7%. So, uh, hmm, interesting to see. Uh, and it shows how difficult it is to update the devices with Nougat. We have uh, Amazon that is trying a very interesting concept in Seattle, Washington. It's the Amazon Go Store. What is that? You simply go in and you look at the products and you pick out what you want. The store is created in a way that it knows what you picked up and basically it will um, just charge your credit card for what you picked up in the store. It seems that it knows when you're looking at objects and when you're putting them back on the shelves. And uh, it's kind of a new concept that they're looking at because they say that, um, you know, checkout lines where you actually have to, you know, wait in line to pay for your stuff is kind of an outdated concept. And they're trying to put this in a much more interesting and modern way of shipping. So basically, this is the new concept of the Amazon Go Store in uh, Seattle, Washington. Well, Microsoft, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube are all um, making and will create a database to fight off terrorism. It seems that the database will, of course, be shared with all of them, and they are working hard to try to remove hate speech and extremism from the Internet. So I think that's a pretty good idea, and it's fun to see that companies that sometimes are rivals actually are... Um, working together here. Well, we have a little bit of news of the Samsung Galaxy S8, which would come, um, it depends on who or where you check out uh, the reports. There's no official release date, of course. A lot of people say it's February. Uh, some say it could be as late as April, but uh, it seems that it's going to uh, improve, of course, upon the design of the Galaxy S7. It will feature, apparently, um, a, um, they will remove basically the headphone jack like the um, Apple iPhone did and uh, lots of other features apparently coming to the device. So uh, no official release but uh, it's interesting to see that uh, February could be the uh, time when they release this. And finally talking about Galaxy phones, the Note 7 phone still waiting for the official report coming from Samsung a independent report coming out of a uh, tech company that examined the phone and actually uh, decided to really look into it says that uh, the major issue is that they've probably packed um, battery 
that is too tight in the device. They say that uh, lithium ion batteries when heavily used uh, will swell up and this is normal in regular use but in this case what happened is that they uh, basically didn't give the space enough space for it to uh, swell up in the phone so since it was kind of squeezed in it actually created problems so uh, we'll see the official Samsung report the uh, independent report also says that they probably have kind of maybe maybe not done their uh, homework for uh, checking out if the device could be operatable uh, like it was. So this was the Tech News Update for Tuesday, December the 6th, 2016. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And thank you for watching.